Boom, country people, what's the word? It's your boy, Dubai Dennis, based here in Seattle, Washington. Welcome to another exciting episode of the African African Creative Hustle Show. I'm saying African Creative Hustle Show because next to me I have an African king. I know you can't see him. I know you're seeing me, but I'm about to introduce the king next to me. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, as always, Creative Hustle brings you not only the pioneers, but also the mentalists, the futurists, the people who are elevating our culture, our vibe, in our business. Today, I have a special guest. Last weekend, if y'all missed two weeks ago, we were over there in Sodo, Ghana Independence Weekend, the happiest country in the continent, yo. The happiest country in the continent. If you don't know, check your vibes. Check your vibes. Ghana in the house today, Ghana Independence Weekend. And how are we gonna commemorate such a beautiful country with beautiful culture and beautiful people without bringing the beautiful pioneers of sound, of music, of art, of architecture. Ladies and gentlemen, today I have none other but the man himself, the legend, Jupiter. Yes. <laughs> man, I, love <laughs> that. I love that energy, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this <laughs> guy here, joke, man. Let this guy here, before I continue, I have to read his government names. <laughs> He's got, open here first. Open, right, it, open, it, open it fast, open it fast. Don't go. cut nothing. Leave there. Leave it. This is good. Yeah. I'm using Jupiter's phone because yeah. I've realized we are very faithful. Exactly. African men don't cheat. Yes, at all. Never. We participate. Mm -mm. We don't cheat. But today I have the ladies and gentlemen, Michael Abija Ome. For those who don't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is a dancehall artist, producer, mm. creator. Yeah. He's also not only known in Ghana, but he's known also all over the Caribbean. Yes, His yeah. music journey started in 2011. He has been made a significant impact on African dancehall scene. His authenticity connects with artists all over the globe. So ladies and gentlemen, I just want to rub your hands together. If you're out there in the streets, rub your cheeks together. Mm. If you're in the bar, rub your beers together. That's because, it. ladies and gentlemen, today yeah, we have a shout out! Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing, man? Welcome to the show, good. Jupiter. I'm good, bro. How you doing, bro? I'm all right, bro. How Welcome you, to man? Seattle. Thanks, bro, man. Everything cool? Everything all right. Everything Especially, cool? Everything excellent, man. Mm. Trust me. Yeah. Especially with the energy that you possess, man. Nah, Come bro. I appreciate <laughs> you, bro. Bigger, 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 man. Right. Yo, yo, you came. Mm. What was that? Thursday or Friday? Um, I think Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Thursday, I Friday? Know, yeah, I don't know. Thursday. Oh, Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. and you had your show on Saturday. On Saturday, yeah. How was the reception? I mean, I saw people in the airport with yeah. you, bro. They were clapping. Hey, who's that guy? Like a Brainy Beats <laughs> guy. It was all over you. Hey! Yeah, kidding man. rights. How was it? Um, I think uh, before I say anything, um, I've been to so many places in the, in, in the world, mm -hmm. you know, and the, with the, this reception that I've received, this, I think one of its kind, I've never had it like this before. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not talking about the settings. I'm talking about the love. You know what I'm saying? The, the love that he approached me with is like, it's unfiltered. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's raw and it's unique. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I really appreciate them. Shout out to Brady B. Shout out to Brady B. Yeah, shout out to Africa Next. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to all the Ghanaians and Africans African yeah, that yeah. are in Seattle. Correct. You guys are doing it, man. Man, yeah, I came yeah, to your baby and me, bro. You and people, bro. <laughs> This guy, like the whole parking lot was full. I tell like, you, this man. is not the show day. No, this is the day before the show day, it's and you had all these people. Yeah. They are eating. It's yeah. like a, like they saw you. The, you know, like Queen B. Yeah, but you're exactly. King B now. King yeah, B. Got it. Everybody got just it. came there. Yeah. Just, and was it like till midnight? Most of. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. Like, yeah. like like when you came to yeah. Seattle. Were you expecting this type of reception from your Ghanaian people? Because I don't know if it's your first time here. Yeah. I'm not sure. Have you done a show here before? No, no. I've been to a couple of states. You know, um, I've done the New Orleans International Art Festival. Oh, nice. you know, With legends. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been to Miami. Mm -hmm. I've been to New York, New Jersey, Houston. Like, I've been to a couple of states. You know, did tour with Rema. You know, 15 yeah, states. Sure, with, Rema. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Man. We did a tour. About bigger, bigger, states, bigger, man, bigger, bigger, know, bigger, 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 bigger. But Seattle... Mm. I, I honestly, I knew my, my my brother has this element of surprise, you know, in they, him. They have, but he won't tell you what he's about to do. But I know this guy is really, really gonna go hard, and you know what I'm saying, mm. not to impress me, but to show me what he's capable of, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm speaking about Brainy once again, you know. Sorry, what I'm saying? Brainy, so, sorry, Brainy, sorry. well, my expectation wasn't up to what he did, mm -hmm. honestly speaking. But then he 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 over surprised me, you know. Mm -hmm. what I'm saying that's how I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep it, and mm -hmm. that's 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 a blood, mm -hmm. yeah, that's brother right there, you know. Oh. what I'm saying, yeah. Shout out, shout out to Brainy Beats Where's again, the... Kingsley. Yeah, let's take it. Let's let's look back. Let's look back. Okay. We in Ghana. Mm. Uh, 
a lot of people stumble on their arts differently. Right. Some people through trauma mm. and some people, they had it genetically. Right. Anybody in your family doing music? Um, majority of them sing in their washrooms when they are... <laughs> <bathroom. laughs> when they are bathing, you know. <laughs> uh, my, my dad is a serious uh, reggae fan. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, he loves play, to play the guitar, you know. Uh, but uh, I think I can't actually recall any of my family members actually doing music. I think I'm the first generation to pursue it to, you know, to a different level. Yeah. And, and at what point, was it in high school? Was yeah. it in primary school? When did you like pen down something that you felt was a lyric? Um, you know what? I, I grew up as a Krishna consciousness. You know, uh, Catholic? What, no. Krishna consciousness is more like uh, what you guys call... <laughs> is it protester? <laughs> it's, it's, it's India. Mahatma Gandhi, I don't know if you know. Like, like one of the one of the meditation guys. Yeah, meditation guys. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's different from Christianity and it's different from Islamic. Uh, mm. It's more like a meditation. You know the Indians with the um, the chalk dots. You know, yeah, 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 Krishna, yeah, yeah. Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was one, my dad is is part of that society. So mm. yeah, I was part of the Krishna consciousness for like um, from one to age nine. And my my grand my grandma was a full Christian woman, so she called the police. On my dad, that my dad is teaching us. <laughs> my dad is actually teaching Sorry, us. Sorry, guy, but I got to lie. <laughs> but that's fact, though, man. Uh, yeah, for real, though. My mm. grandma called the police on my dad. So I remember at age nine, I was in the school, crossed my leg, doing the chanties and all of that. And there was a police that actually came to the school to arrest a couple of the teachers. And then, you know, they took me out of the school and then she took me to um, um, church, mm. you know. Uh, from the church, you have to, of course, there are so many departments in the church. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I joined the choir, I joined the, uh, the brigade, um, I joined um, the AYPA, the Youth Association, and then later on, I joined the, how do you call it, the, the, the choir. Mm -hmm. So with the church choir, <clears throat> but then I have been doing this in school already, you know what I'm saying? Even though the Krishna space, you wouldn't have anywhere to actually do music because they'll be singing Indian songs and stuff like that. So you have enemies. But when I listen to songs, sometimes I'll be singing them and all of that. Mm -hmm. But it actually started from the church mm -hmm. when we joined the choir. Mm -hmm. And they were teaching us about hymns. You know, okay. if, if if you're a proper African, then you should know about like Anglican churches. Yeah, all the, the time. Catholics, yeah, too. Catholics, Catholics, Catholics too. Catholics exactly, too. Yeah, we had, you know had a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was in St. Michael uh, Catholic uh, Anglican Church. And then part of the choir too. They were teaching us about hymns and stuff like that. When we come back home, then we'll, be, we'll do our own real house. And I start even actually writing my own hymns. You know what I'm saying? So he actually picked up from the church. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, in school, we went there. I was part of the entertainment people. I think when you come, when you get to my school and you ask of me, they will definitely know. Because every Wednesday, I make sure I entertain them. Where's the school? Where was school at? What's the name of the school? It's called Premier International. Premier was, International. Yeah, you know You're like saying? entertainment captain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was ages ago, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like 20 something years ago, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you come to the school every Wednesday, you know, I am the guy, guy to entertain them. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't stop from there. Mm -hmm. I actually quickly went to the studio. Mm -hmm. My very first time, um, I had to actually walk miles to the studio because I wasn't having the means to, you know what I'm saying, take I love, love your honesty about that. Most definitely, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. have to. So you hustled to like go to record? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy because, yeah. um, you know, now I got to a part where I have to, and my, I lost my parents, both of them. Oh, you yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, so Bless life was actually actually tough. Mm -hmm. It was crazy tough. Uh, mm -hmm. So... Uh, I, I mean, coming from a background, a proper background, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dad, daddy was good. Mommy was good. You know, so I'm a, I'm a cool kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I got everything that I want and all of that. And all of a sudden, it's gone. I had to hustle on my own. So the only choice that I have left for me is music then. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that was my only talent. That was like a release. That was therapy. That was everything at that time. That is my last option. Mm -hmm. You know, because even, even if I want to go to school, who's going to pay the fees? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Exactly. And you know, there was this thing about um, Africans, uh, let's say maybe my, where I'm from, that mm -hmm. sometimes when maybe your dad or your mom is, is rich sort of, mm -hmm. and they are no more, um, the, the family sees you like an outcast in the sense but that, they, yeah, in the sense that when they, they used to have, maybe you are not friendly with them sort of, you know, mm -hmm. so they, they, they just want to watch you rot. Do you get me? Yo, yeah, that's exactly. Powerful. Like so, they watch you rot. Exactly. That's, that's, yeah, some, yeah, yeah, that's some true stuff right there. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Yeah. So the only option that I had actually was, Music, you know what I mean? Because that's the only thing that I've learned how to do, you know? Um, I'm a disappointed footballer because I really love <laughs> Disappointed <my> footballer? <laughs> what is disappointed footballer? Why you play football or not? 
I tried to write it, it didn't work. Hey, you know it was I'm disappointment. Saying? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So from there, I recorded my first song. Uh, I played it to most of the majority of my friends, mm-hmm. you know, in the hood. And they were like, yo, you know that your yes man? You know, the yes man. It was like, yo, man, this is dope. At first, I thought they were not giving me honest opinion because I believe whatever I recorded wasn't that much, you know what I'm saying? But then they, they keep supporting me, and then I started dropping songs to songs, songs to songs. So I was actually the first young Ghanaian artist to actually emerge ever, you know, in the history of Ghana music. I think at the age of 16 years, I'm already a superstar playing uh, festivals in London, um, traveling places, like shutting it down for the whole country. What was your, what was your first hit single? Uh, it's called uh, Not Touch Again. Not Touch Again. What yeah. inspired Not Touch Again? Well, uh, it's Vibes can tell you know, because that time, uh, uh, yeah. it was, you know, Vibes can tell from, 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 from Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was just talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah bigger, yeah, guys, I'm going to say. Bigger, no, bigger, no. bigger, bigger, bigger. Yeah, so Vibes can tell you, Movado has this crazy feud that was going on then. Oh, then the, that clash, was it 98? It, it was, was it? it was a long time. I can't yeah. actually remember the day, you know, but it, it actually took effect in the, on the globe because mm. then that's, that's all actually has dominated the whole globe. You know, mm. people, it's either you are Goli or Gaza. Yeah. You know, and Vice Castle is one of the dancehall artists that actually inspired me a lot, good, you know. Good, good. So, well, I took inspiration from him to drop that Not Touch Again song, which actually took Ghana by storm. Like, people were, were wondering, yo, are you sure it's, it's from Ghana? Are you sure it's from Ghana? Are you sure it's from... Like, How did everybody... you record the first song? Well, um, I listened to the beat online. You know, because I was at the internet cafe. I have to pay to go listen to. Yeah, hey, yeah, you know, man. The way I have, bro. You know the vibes. Not, not Our today. Wi-Fi comes. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, today, yeah. well, you know, and especially you know, coming from Africa, we don't have the avenues. The avenues are very yeah, difficult yeah, yeah, to access. Yeah. yeah, but for here, like, easy to access. It's easy to access all those kind of things. But yeah. so you have to pay to go to an internet cafe. Mm-hmm. You know. Yo. So mm. you were telling me mm. about breaking out in mm. Ghana. Vibes yeah. could tell. Yeah. One, one of the things I love about. The breaking news that came out the other day. Yeah. We may have vibes Cattell coming out. You know that, right? Yeah. King might be coming out right now. <laughs> they came back from London, y'all. Guys, I'm Shout out to guys, let me say. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's coming out. Free the balls. Free the balls. He's coming out. And uh, I'm excited mm. that I, I got to tell you, mm. if you ever want to know your art speaks to people, mm. look at how long vibes has been in jail Most and sure. how much of the little art that he served us is yeah. still blowing up. Even though we don't see him, you don't need the physicality. No you, your art has transcended beyond Ghana. Right. How did you feel going international for the first time? Um, I've always knew I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be the artist to actually set the mark straight. You know what I mean? Um, I always knew I'm going to be the artist that is going to, you know, take this whole thing to a different le- level. Because even in my own country, they see me as an alien. Mm. You know, uh, for the fact that it was very difficult to accept international sounding, you know, um, um, musicians in my country. You know, because we have typically used, we're like typical Africans in the sense that we don't play with our indigenous, you know, music. For instance, like the don't do and high life mm-hmm. and then, yeah, all these things. Like we are so much into it that it's hard for you to accept something which is more foreign. So I think I am, I, I, I don't know, but, you know, arguably, I think I'm the one and the only first artist to actually do this dance that thing, 100%, that Ghanaian actually accepted it. You know, and we're singing back to back, you know, with the patra that I sang with the song, the whole 10 regions. I mean, if anybody sees me, I quite remember some time ago, I went to a radio station, I was speaking at a local dialect, somebody nearly collapsed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they didn't, like, I've, I've had a reputation to be an international artist, you know, mm-hmm. this guy is from Jamaica and all of that. Even when they want to nominate me for uh, music awards, mm-hmm. they have to call to verify. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I've lived with that brand for a very long time. So uh, um, consciously, uh, I know for a fact that with the kind of music that I'm pursuing, like I'm seriously going to break the international market because my first single actually gave me, um, um, how do you call it, a, a, a festival to play in London, mm-hmm. which is international stage. You know, I won big over Whiskey and Davido in 2017. Is Urban. that the Bass Awards? No, that's Urban Music Awards. Ah, MTV? Yeah, in, ah, in, in, bigger, in UK. Bigger, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. So bigger, it bigger, was bigger. That time, uh, um, uh, Ed Sheeran was there. Uh, Ed Sheeran? Yeah, he, he, he was all there. These people? Oh, yeah, all of them. Yeah. Uh, Ed Sheeran, Skepta, Stormzy, oh, uh, Whiskey, Stormzy all of those people. Like, yeah. they, were, they were present. You know what I mean? But because they understand the international sound, mm. you know, it was easy for them to actually nominate me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then, yeah, I was crowned the uh, first African 
artist to ever win African Artist of the Year 2017 mm. at Urban Music Award UK. Mm. So it kickstarts from there. Mm. The rest is just grace and history, right? Yeah. Last year in the summer, there was a big debate on Twitter. Crazy. Some uh, of some of our island brothers and sisters yeah. were thinking that some Ghanaians were singing dance. So it was kind of like stepping into the culture without giving them enough props. I know you've heard that debate before. <laughs> yeah, so what's the relationship between Ghana Ghanaians yeah. and dance hall yeah. that the outside world does not understand. They're like, oh, maybe you are trying to be one of the Jamaicans. What's going yeah. on? Well, before, um, I think even the Jamaicans there, if they look back to their native, to their roots, they realize they were ones from Ghana mm -hmm. and other parts of Africa before they get to where they are. When you go to Jamaica, there was these uh, people called them, the native Jamaicans are called Maroons, right? Yeah, they are yeah. God, they are called, they are God, Nyankupo. We mm -hmm. call our God here, Nyankupo. Mm -hmm. You know, and you see the similarities so much. Even in our food, they have rice mm -hmm. and peas. We have wachi. Wachi, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like all these things, like it's very significant. You know, you can tell. You can trace it back to the root and the root is Ghana. You know what I'm saying? But because of the foreign influence, and some of them, obviously, they don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. They don't even know how they migrated on that island, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So we are here to remind them. Sometimes we just do things so similar in the sense that there's a uh, conversation that's missing. There is, There's you a, know, yeah, there's something, yeah. something which is missing. So yeah. how can we actually, you know, be the gap between Ghana and the other, sorry, Africa and the other Caribbean countries? Mm. It's through uh, melody uh, and, 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 and words, which mm -hmm. is music. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we can connect. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we can say, oh, no, wait, this one sounds like me. I like the you know, Because it's tongue, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's the only way we can also say, okay, we belong here, we belong there. I can never speak like an American. You know no, no, we're not yeah. there. That's exactly, them. exactly. Mm -hmm. Even though you know you get an influence yeah. as an American, you cannot sound like a proper American unless you lose something. Exactly. I told a friend like that before. If I if I get too American, yeah. I have to lose something. Exactly. You can't you get everything. Lose, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then then you are not being natural. You get me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the part of our, the other side of us as Africans, you know, is by also trying as much as possible to you know get that connection between our Caribbean friends. Mm -hmm. You speak patois, of Pedro course. Tree, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And even in your native languages, some mm -hmm. of the words that you use, mm -hmm. it's like one of our, our, our indigenous tongues here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know, so the similarities are there. So we, not that we are taking over, you know, with the Ajer or whatever mm -hmm. that they do, but mm -hmm. it's just we Africans, you know, reminding ourselves that hey, we are We're also important. Exactly. Yeah, yes. I love that. Yeah. Building charisma, self-esteem in people, that's good for mental health. Mm -hmm. What's your creative process like? Me, I like... Before I create, I need food. I just need a lot of food just lying around. I don't need to no. eat it. I just need to just be around. Um, I, I think uh, it has to be in my... I have to tap my psycho mood. My psycho mood in the sense Getting that... Getting dark or what? Um, not, 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 not basically. Because um, it's spiritual, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like when I'm going to perform, I have to perform some, you know, some sort of ritual. If I want to record a song, you know, uh, Brainy can testify to that. Yeah. You will be playing the beat. I like don't disturb me, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't confuse me. Just let me be in the zone. Just keep playing the beat, you know, and I have to actually, you know, sort of, you know, it's it's more I don't even know how to exp express it. It's more spiritual, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I need to tap in, into that cycle yeah, so like, mode. Yeah, I have to, I have like to really get in that cycle yeah. mode where the words will be coming automatically. Yeah. You know, because I believe in whatever I do and it's more spiritual than what the physical eyes can see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I need to I need to picture people singing to that reading, people going crazy to that melody. You know what I'm saying? That's why they say the devil actually also <laughs> <laughs> loves music because he knows how to manipulate mm -hmm. people with, with sound mm -hmm. and power. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because sound are very powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, so I try as much as possible to be in that power zone, like to that to the you know to the last cloud, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I will be with you. You are you'll be talking, I'll be smiling, mm. but I'm not there. You know, because I have to tap into that realm mm. before I'll be able to release lyrics. So music for me is nothing that, you know, you just go to the studio, smoke some weed, drink some alcohol. You know, sometimes I do that, sometimes he's there. Like, oh, Charlie, let me let me pour you some some alcohol, some shots. I don't I won't, I won't drink it. It's not about that. All those things are, you know, basic influences, but then that, that supernatural, you know what I'm saying, aspect of it is by tapping into that realm and releasing, you know, something powerful, something that actually can, you know what I'm saying, when someone hears it, you will be like, Damn. You can feel like, yeah, I can feel like you're... you're exactly, you're because I, I, I don't play with music. Mm -hmm. You know, people actually, you know, they just go and they spit lyrics out. But then I just want to be in that zone. 
if I'm not in that zone, whatever that I record, personally, I know it's trash. Mm. Believe me. Yeah, but not always that I'm there. She said, personally, is this? Yeah, I'm not going to, yeah, like, for uh, you know, fact. I was ready for it. Oh, yeah. bro. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, you know Personal I mean? is trash. If it's yeah. trash, don't answer the email. And I know it's trash. And when it's trash, trust me, I'm not going to release it. It's going to be there forever. Asking about that question, mm. why I'm tying this together is, mm. how do you know, mm. or, or how do you pick? What's yeah. your process of picking, like, I want to mess with this producer, yeah. DJ Kali, or Diddy, or... Uh, R. Kelly, yeah. not R. Kelly, yeah. no, somebody else. Yeah. But any producer in the world, <laughs> yeah. not R. Kelly. I was not there. I was not there. Yeah. But what goes into your process of picking producers? Well, we have to be spiritually inclined, you know, spiritual first, because music is spiritual. And mm. then creative wise, too, we have to be inclined, you know, because uh, if we are on both sides when it comes to creativity, you know, because me, I believe I have that, you know, creative instinct to be highly creative mm -hmm. you know with with lyrics and and sounds you know so you also have to be at least you have to be somewhere closer to me i have all these top top uh, producers that I've, I've never worked with them you know what i mean but i'm working with brainy for instance brainy is one of the major producers that actually i can work with i actually work with him on all my the songs on my album what's, yeah, exactly. what's the name of your album the one album yeah the one the one what went behind the name the one because I'm the one that, you know, will save Ghana music industry very soon. They will say, bah, bah, yeah. Bah, bah. <laughs> love, it, love, it, love, it, love it. But it has so many, so many meanings to it, you know what I'm saying? But then aside from that, Bernie is, is that kind of person. He knows when I'm getting into that mood. Like, he knows when I'm getting there. So he, everything has to cease. So in the whole spiritual exactly. space that he knows, he knows just it. mentioned? He knows it. You know, when you get used to someone, for instance, if I see you every day, and I get used to you. I'm, I'm spiritually connected we're to you. Yeah. So I it was sing. That's the yeah, thing. So yeah. I know what you like. I know when you're in the mood without telling me if you're in the mood or not. You, you get me? You don't yeah. have to smile first for me to know you're in the mood. You can even find your face, but I know you're happy. Yeah, yeah. You get me? So he knows my turn. Like he knows when to to be quiet. He knows what to play for me, to ginger me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and just bring you back in. And then he'll just put me in that realm. And then the rest is going to be, you know. It's, it's gonna be amazing works all, all over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big question. Right. Uh, have you ever made any Afrobeat music? Yeah, 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 of course. You know. Music you consider Afrobeat? Yeah. So I'm gonna go slow because the question yeah. is really loaded. <laughs> okay. What do you consider Afrobeat? What is Afrobeat? Um, Afrobeat is just a representation of, uh, you know, uh, various indigenous African sounds. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, I can mention Ghana because that's where I'm from. In mm -hmm. Ghana, we have about like 10 or more of them. We have the uh, Adowa, we have the Palugu, Palugu. we have uh, uh, Bobobo, right. and all of that. These are like native Ghanaian, you know, indigenous sound, mm -hmm. you know. So let me tell you a quick story about a, a group in Ghana called Osibisa. Do share. Osibisa is actually, let me say, one of the top pioneers of African music. Let me not mention Afro, because Afro is now, you know, yeah. more urban, right? Yeah. So Osibisa are the ones that you know, actually took this African music to to the Western world. You know, they were singing in English and our local dialect too, you know what I'm saying? And um, aside from them, we have a whole lot of legends in Ghana that are also doing like proper Ghanaian high life, which actually... My dad used to like high life. Oh, you know, exactly. Yeah. So Ghanaians, you see, where I'm from, we are very creative with sound. I'm not going to lie, it's just that we don't really know how to package it well, you know, I mean, to sell it out there. But High Life so, was big, bro. No, I, we I, had it in East Africa. We heard. High Life like is the, the sound High Life. Was like exactly. The percussions. Trust me, bro. Do, do, yeah. High Life is the source. Mm -hmm. Just like Zook. Zook is more, it's, Zook is too, like, it's too, you see, if you look at Fela, yeah. the story about Fela or the history of Fela, Fela came to Ghana mm -hmm. to learn from Usibisa, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so either there is some, the, 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 some like impartation of uh, OCBC's ways of creativity into Fela. Fela took it to Nigeria. Mm. What happened? He became a legend. He flipped it and... He took it to the next level. Now Fela is more like... He has become like African Bob Mali. You know what I'm saying? Like fighting, point, yeah, think about it. fighting with politicians because, of course, obviously, they are the, the ones system, that actually take yeah. the system, mm -hmm. making sure the, the uh, speaking for the poor, speaking for the weak, you know what I'm saying? Strengthening people with his sounds and power and all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, but but the, the basic was actually from Ghana, which is High Life. Mm -hmm. And they know it. You know what I'm saying? So Afrobeat, I would say, is just a representation of Africans. Africans. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, picking because it's very collective, like different sound. Exactly. So yeah, exactly. So two days ago, mm. there was a a big rattle on, right. on Twitter. Right. I uh, got my people over there, some of the guy bloggers from the UK or something, yeah. and they were arguing mm. that Afrobeat feels like an abandoned child, right? Because mm. the OGs right. don't want to claim it. Right. Oh, yeah, I get where you're coming from. And yeah. the new Gs mm -hmm. are coming in and saying, like, no, I'm not Afro beat, I'm Afro pop, I'm right. Afro show, I'm Afro this. I'm, that they're literally this mother B that right. created all this genre that we push to the world. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, as an OG of guys who used to like literally tip up the bartenders to play Afrobeat for us like 11, 12, 13, 15 years ago in America. Right. That time was crazy, bro. In the Midwest, it's crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> so now we're like, we fought so much for African mm -hmm. music to be played in these spaces. Right. And then and we now, have our OGs saying like, I don't even want to be part of what that name. Listen. How do you feel about it? I'm so heartbroken. I don't even know. I don't, West can't actually express, uh, express my feeling now. You know, recently, Whiskey did, uh, made a statement about um, they shouldn't call him an Afrobeat artist. Yeah, and for a second, I'm just trying to, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, well, let me try to understand him. Or maybe it's uh, it's, it's stunt, but he's past that stage of all this. this I like that. Yeah, he's, he's past that stage. Mm -hmm. So I just really want to go into the depth of that situation, why he actually said to people that they shouldn't call him Afrobeat, mm -hmm. you know. But that is what you actually make people, that is what you were loved for. You know, that, that is actually what I thought I was mad. No, 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 you, you are not. You see, like a hip hop artist in mm. America, all of a sudden say, don't call me hip hop artist anymore. I am reggae artist. I'm 50 cent from Jamaica. So how do you, but how do you, how would you even believe how, that? How are they even categorizing themselves now? What, one problem about Africans, they say, you see how influential the Western world is? When we get there, then we lose our identity. Then why are we working so hard to lose our identity? Can you imagine we are working so hard to get up here so we cannot be the people we claim to people be. People have died for this moment. People have sacrificed for this very moment, right? The moment is here now. Look at what we're doing. We are not even cherishing it for, for a decade. All of a sudden, they are just running away. Ben Abba also did make the same statement. So now we have to sit back. The ones coming up, we have to ask ourselves so many questions, you know? And then you can even actually attribute it to our way of life as an Africans. You know, we fight to get independence. And how are we even using that, uh, that, that, that liberty? How are we actually using that liberty that we fought for? How beneficial is that liberty that we actually had, you know, from these white folks? Through the enslavement, you, you, know, you know what it is, right? Ghana independence. Ghana is 67 also. I don't really know. You know, we, we've gained independence. We've gained independence. Independence, in your, yeah. In we, we, country, we fighting right? that, we're still fighting for our freedom like that. It's not like we're How not has it benefit, free. benefited us? No, as, no, really as benefited us. As so artists. This is, a, this is the typical significant of what I'm talking to you about, with, even with our sound. With the Afrobeat. Now, Afrobeat, Grammy has even accepted it, giving you a space to hammer And that's it. what's making me upset when, when mm. I'm thinking about it. Like, everybody can mm. diversify, right? Exactly. Kind of piece of cake, cake of Afrobeat. Right. But at the end of the day, when you think about it, right? Mm. How big is the tally for Afrobeat on the right. charts? Right. And how big is the pop tally right. in Afrobeat? Right. So when you leave this mm. in Afrobeat right. to compete with this in the world, Right. You think Germans are going to play you more than the rock stars? They can fill up your stadium based on the Africans there. Hell, but what's the longe longevity plan? Yeah. I, I can fearlessly tell you. You see what I'm saying? I, I get you 100%. I can Latinos went through that yeah, with yeah. Uh, uh, reggaeton. Reggaeton, right. In right. the Between 2000 mm -hmm. and 2012. Right. Ain't nobody but people. Right. Ain't nobody but, what's his name? Yeah. Well, Daddy Young Kid. Daddy, yeah, Ain't right. nobody. Right. And Afro, I feel Afrobeat is mm -hmm. on the 2000s. Great. But if we don't find a way like to get the gold recycling in there, exactly. we're going to be the, the next reggaeton where no one even hires you no more. Now, listen, it's sad. The funny thing is all the jurors, right? All the world is not looking at Africa. Mm. Why? Because of Afrobeat. Mm. And the pioneers, mm. in fact, they are not even like that. The new generation pioneers mm. of Afrobeat mm. are now telling us that that is not their identity. The question is, who are you then? If you're not Afro, yeah. You for the beat. It's just a simple thing. But they, they are forgetting that they cannot be accepted in other side. 
I they didn't start from the other side, so, brother. So, so regardless of whatever you tell proverb. That's it. I'm a child that does not respect the mother yeah. will not be respected by the world. Right. It's an African proverb from right. Zimbabwe. I'm telling you. And I can fearlessly say that we don't need Grammy to be, to be acknowledged as an African artist. Why? Grammy is a fatality. You know what I'm saying? It's for the worst in world. Who created Grammy? Is it a, a dude from Africa? You know what I'm saying? Why are you fighting so much to be part of what the, the Western culture is theirs? Leave it. What do we have? Give me half of that. What is our Grammy as Africans? I'm telling you, man. Yo! What is our Grammy as Africans? By the way, before you shut it down, right. shout out to the Grammy Award winner. That was a mm. Grammy. Uh, yeah. Ghanaian. That was a Ghanaian. Uh, the producer. Who the hell? Well, the uh, co-producer, right? Was it Ghanaian, right? Oh, uh, the, 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 yeah, I was Ghanaian, man. The, it was the, the Ghanaian Beyonce or thing. Producer. Oh, with the Tyler. Yeah, we yeah, we don't want to do the Tyler, man. We gotta give God up for that, bro. Sure. Come on, we want the Grammy. Shout, 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 shout to the DJ yeah, there. Most definitely, yeah. But I love the fact that mm. you dropped this in between this conversation. Most definitely. I remember I was in a room full of Africans, mm -hmm. African professional people, All right? And uh, a few of our African American brothers were there, African American mm. sisters were there, right. and I asked them, right? Mm. So in Africa, mm. if there's a show. Right. Like Miss Ghana, mm -hmm. Miss Accra, mm -hmm. and there's one organization organizing it, right? And they decide not to recognize the west side of Accra. Oh. What does the west side of Accra do? They have a west side of Accra, Miss Africa, Simple. on that side. Simple. I have never understood why in Africa, there's only in America, there's only one Oscar. Exactly. Why are there no four of them? I should have had Oscar Houston, Oscar Nigeria, exactly. Oscar Nairobi. That's hey, I should have had the Grammys Nairobi. That's it. That's you it. award yourself what you think you deserve. Because when I'm gonna promise you, mm. I was one of I was really embarrassed right. by Jay Z. Right. When Jay Z went mm. on Black History Month, yeah. On a platform that's not African or right, black. Right. And then he was crying there that his wife yeah. has not got a, a Grammy that he can make himself. A whole billionaire crying for acknowledgement. Exactly. Then me as an African child, who should I look up to uh, if my billionaire is still waiting for exactly. a, 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 yeah, a acknowledgement? Exactly. And my you, billionaire you, should not be talking deserve. to people anyhow. No, no. He should be coming to Africa, destroy exactly. things. Exactly. Not crying like for acknowledgement. Because you yeah. In Africa right now, yeah. remember when Channel Law used to drop? Mm -hmm. Every kid wanted to see Every it. Every kid. AKA <coughs> Casper Channel, Devet, oh, oh my Sako Day. Day. Bro, we were ready. Channel O, I was. You know what I did yeah, to us? Man. He did something to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What inspired you as a child yeah. to always know you're gonna be like an artist? Well, um, for some reason, I think I was born a star, I knew it. You know, I think everybody that was born a star in this room, actually, you can't have that. You know, that, 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 that instinct inside you that, you know, like some part of you knows like you're going to be somebody, you know, then it starts with the journey. So through the journey, the circumstances that you're going to go through will determine how strong you are to be able to pass through to a level. Because even in, in school, <coughs> you have to go to primary, to JHS, yeah, to, JHS to high school. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there, there is, you know, there is a process through it. Getting to know like self actualization, if getting to know yourself, like, yeah, of course, this is what you are, who you are. Now the journey begins, right? How strong are you to be able to hold all the, you know, the backlashes, the difficulties you know, to become successful? So me, I, 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 for, I don't know, but for some reason, I knew I'm going to be someone like someone like bigger, bigger than what, what I'm, why I'm here. Trust me. What are the challenges of you? Because mm. your art, art is not cheap. Yeah. What are some of the ways that young artists who are not signed yeah. can crowdfund or find a way to get resources to fund their projects? How did you help? Because I know your first project, you, yeah. you mentioned before, last, last offer, you said like it was a hustle. Yeah, yeah it was. How, it did, was. How, did, how did it come together? Um, like I said, with determination, I, and, and of course, I, I, I already knew who I was going to be like, you know, so even the mouse walk into the studio, um, the days of you know without eating any food in my belly you oh, know you're recording hungry yeah, yeah and even guess what i don't even have money to record so you know what i'll actually go to the studio to be sweeping the studio you know anytime the producer finish recording i'll be sweeping the studio just to impress him so he has at least 10 minutes exactly oh man you know bro. so i can sweep for like two weeks and i'll get 10 minutes of his time yeah the, the following weeks 
You know what I mean? So it has been like that, but that didn't even actually make me stop because I could equal, equally look at the other side yeah. to maybe go and try and see if I can be an arm robber or maybe... <laughs> come on! It's no, 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 for real, though. It's a real gangster shit! <laughs> it, bro, yeah. bro, come on. You know what I'm saying? So, but then the goal is still there, you know, because I have my objectives, my stated objectives, and I'm achieving them one after the other. You know what I'm saying? This is like um, inclined young boy, you know, very like i know exactly what i want and trust me in, in ghana majority of the kids that are coming out now actually wanted to do music personally for me like the question that you just asked me what it takes if first of all you know that is not your field you feel in the first place you the know state or something how do you feel like exactly because they know mm. listen god didn't create us as you know just normal entity like we are a full spiritual body right mm. there you know what i'm saying mm. you, th that that part of you knows exactly who you have to be mm. and i dare each and everybody in this room unless maybe you are useless then that's sad but then if, if you are more spiritually inclined i swear to god you can know you should know you should know like no i'm gonna be the hottest dj you know what i'm saying it's in you no, it's in you it's in your spirit you feel yeah, it? it's yeah. like a silent prayer to you exactly so. and it shouldn't be talent wise to as well you know what i'm saying because in my place, so. yeah, in where I come from, <clears throat> sometimes talent is not all. You know what I'm saying? You can have it, but the support is not there. And then maybe you... Discipline too. Exactly. Yeah. Discipline. Yeah, discipline also is also part of it. But majority of the people out there in my country, like they just want to go according to the flow. Mm -hmm. Oh, music is the trend. We are all singing. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I see some... A, a, a doctor friend, like he was writing rap. And I was like, listen, if you don't stop, you can be about fool you, man. You know, what I'm you know what I'm like a, a doctor friend that wants to switch to come and write music. Right. You know, what I'm come on, bro. Like, Brainy, hmm. give me something for him to drink. Put the thumbs up here. Don't be like that. Put something. Yeah, this is wrong. I man. don't yeah. cut it either. It's okay, crazy, cool. You know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. it has been like that. And this, 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 the journey is funny. You know, for Brainy, Brainy, for instance. You know, I always want to use him as example because we we we, we grew up together. Mm. The moment I saw Brainy, mm -hmm. I, I said to myself, like, mm -hmm. this, me and this guy will do things. Because the, the, the very first beat that I hear, mm -hmm. like that I heard, mm -hmm. I was like, no, this guy, if I collaborate with him, we There's can go far. can happen. Was this before or after Samini? No, that's after Samini. Mm -hmm. So Brainy was hit. You're in the me. same hometown? Yeah, we all, we all in Accra, the capital okay. city, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we all in Accra, you know what I mean? So, shout to, and the, the, the name that you mentioned right now is a big inspiration. You know, Samini, uh, he, 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 he basically single-handedly hold this dance sort of thing, you know, try to fuse it a little bit with the reggae and the, you know, the Jamaican thing. Mm -hmm. I, I like that too. Yeah. I like and, that and, too. And, and, and he created a whole genre on its own. Genre. On exactly. Itself, yeah. Exactly. So we, we, we are the, you know, the follow-ups. Mm -hmm. We are, are actually picking up from the, 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 the beautiful things that he, he did. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then placing in the, in the face of the people that, you see how beautiful it is. It's like a whole picture together. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a painting. He painted some left and then we, we just continued it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we are the generations from Shamini. You know what I'm saying? Because no, he did, no. Yeah, you know, Stoneboy, mm -hmm. even this Shatawali himself has actually said it several times on so many. Yeah, I like Shatawa too. Exactly. Yeah, Shatawa. you know, so yeah. we know, we know, <laughs> we know the source, mm -hmm. we know the roots, we know the ones that follow before us. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, if it is not your thing, don't even think of starting first because you, you've automatically failed. Big up on the respect where you have to shout out some people yeah. because you succeeded ego to just yeah. give up props to people who were before you. Uh, the new right. Some of the artists I have like interacted before with. Before you become a king. You have to. Before you become a king, you must first learn how to serve. Mm -hmm. I like that. Not literally. Mm -hmm. But in the sense that you have to show acknowledgements you know, to people that were there before you. Mm -hmm. it, it changes nothing about you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> it changes nothing about you. Mm -hmm. You know, it actually, actually brings more blessings into, into, into your, your spirit, yeah. into your circle. Right. You arrive mm. and killed in Seattle. Right. Shut down thing. Mm. Ah, oh, got independence. I heard everything was there. Mm -hmm. Jalal Fry was there, my chop song. Yeah. Shit was popping, man. There you go. Oh, DJ Nayam was there. Mm -hmm. What's that? He didn't DJ. He didn't DJ was there. Was I heard he lost his all his fingers because he did too much. <laughs> but um, bathrooms are clean. Right. I saw the reels, right? Mm. By the way, I'm sorry again. I couldn't make it. Oh, man. The Lord called my wife, so you we did, had to did, be like quiet. You did everything. With the people that, that we did. I couldn't everything. make it. Yeah. But 
I saw you killed it. Right. Saw so a lot of people there. Boom, boom. Cheering boom, in boom. the club. Yeah, yeah. Everybody going wow. Mm -hmm. First of all, you didn't tell me to go go dance. Like, Why did you not give me this information? Why did you not give me this information <laughs> well, the day before? It's part of hey. it's part of the surprises Brittany was actually holding it back. You know what I'm saying? I saw Google go dance. Yeah, I was just saw them the over there. And then uh yeah. I saw the DJs were hot. Also, one thing I know I love about the, about the reels was even mm. before you got on stage, yeah. uh, there was something about the vibe of the space, yeah. the club, the energy of the people. Right. Why is that important before you do a show that the club like yeah. has that vibe? So you yeah. don't feel like you're overworking yourself when you step on the stage. What's important to that shit? Um, you know, we actually work with energy, mm -hmm. you know, and when I say energy, not just my energy, with, but with the energy of the people, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So you need to actually see certain things, feel certain things before you go on stage. And it's also part of the rituals that we do. You know, we just have to try, we have to try and make sure that the people's energy are right mm -hmm. before you move on stage, you know? So even sometimes, even if, if I'm about to perform in, in Ghana, I just have to make sure that the person that actually introduced me to the stage knows how to uplift people's energy mm -hmm. that is ready to match mine because i'm on high spirit uh, high you know what i'm saying so i need that higher level Seven. to actually merge mm -hmm. and guess what they were like literally jumping from a to z you mm -hmm. know yeah and it's, it's just a beautiful moment for the very first time in seattle like the Ghanaian communities uh the gambia sierra leone uh, and nairobi i mean that's kenya you know, like it's so beautiful. Everywhere, everywhere I, yeah, cool. I, I just keep saying that the Africans here in Seattle, for the very first time, mm -hmm. I've never seen something like this before. Mm -hmm. Um, because mostly I mean New York and stuff like mm -hmm. that, the Africans are actually divided. Mm -hmm. But over here, it seems every everyone knows how each we other. vibe each other, everybody brother here. Like we are a representation of all the countries in Africa. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Zambia, Zambia everywhere, South you know, Africa, everywhere. Yeah, 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 South yeah. Africa and all of that. And listen, there's no discrimination. If I don't tell you that I'm from Ghana, he doesn't tell you he's from Gambia. You don't know, but we are living as one people. Yeah, we don't. We're, we're here neighbors. It, currently, in this room, you can mm -hmm. count like five African countries. Countries, correct. On the continent. Yeah, that shows how united Seattle you guys are. And if it can continue like this, trust me, I don't think maybe the white people will suck you. No, 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 no. We're moving forward, <laughs> forward, forward, <laughs> forward, forward, <laughs> forward, <laughs> forward, <laughs> forward. By the way, yeah. talking about that, I love the fact mm -hmm. that you mentioned. Uh, that big up again to Seattle. You got, yeah. you got it from mm -hmm. him, the ball. But mm -hmm. King himself has said, yeah, we yeah. have potential to be the biggest Crazy. community of Africans Crazy. in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about diaspora, right. uh, as an African artist, you come to the States quite a bit. Yeah, look. So I know more now about Seattle mm -hmm. than I know about Nairobi. Right. Like literally, I'm in the environment. I My imagine. community now is Seattle. I agree. When African artists, superstars come to Seattle, mm -hmm. how much are we working hard to connect with the community mm. here of right. artists here because if we're trying to you know what i'm saying like yeah. somebody comes to your village oh mm. who are you right why are you getting paid in my home mm -hmm. so now when we come to like cities like seattle mm. how should african artists from a, like outside you've been here for a week i appreciate you for that bro you've done right. a lot of interviews and That's stuff right. thank you again for right. doing this for us right yeah, i got you but how how can other African artists from our side find mm. a way to make home in mm. different places with different people and connect to the community? Right, it's it's, it's the groundworks. Um, um, we did crazy things uh, here, like it's so lovely, you know, um, connecting with people. I even at at so many places, you know, mm. I have to go. You to went to so Bellevue, yeah, yeah. I, I went to like I literally went to the to, to the homes of the fans to eat. Oh man! And for me to 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 take something inside of me. Like if I should come to you, I don't know you are a fan. I just come into your house and then sat down with you, drink the water that you're drinking and eat the food that you're eating right in front of you. It means I, I, I trust you. That's the highest level of trust. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It means I, I over trust you. I swear mm -hmm. to God, because mm -hmm. come on, man. Eating in front of you. It's different. Yeah. I don't even know you. Like exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we did the groundworks. You know, and Brini is that crazy guy that always want to <laughs> want to take it to the next level. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes because even today I was sleeping in the car. This guy like, <laughs> just, let's go. <laughs> Some of the things I'm like, Bruh. I'm tired. But then it works. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> what I've experienced here, I think if every African artist comes to Seattle, Seattle is like, uh, it's like, it's it's like a, a family. You know, the the union here is so it's so strong. So the best way to win their heart is to be like them. 
in the sense that make sure you call Dubai, do a promo with Dubai. You know, the Saturday, the Saturday football, you have to go on the field, play with them, you know, phone call certain people, you know what I'm saying? Let someone bring you, go and smoke some weed somewhere in somebody's house, you know. Can you we still survive with them though? Exactly. Vibe, 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 with vibe, them. Vibe, vibe, yeah. You don't want me to go and share the other mm. man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like, be like them. You know what I'm saying? Don't come here and be like you are su too much superstar. You're a superstar. Exactly. I like that. Because Seattle can surprise you too if you don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, can surprise, surprise you. you. know, Banner Boy came here before. And then he canceled. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Seattle, Seattle will humble you. We'll, we'll, God, we'll you know? check your mental health. So when you get here, the people are nice. They are very lovely. You know, I think this is the first time I've been in Af American state mm -hmm. that I've never heard siren, mm -hmm. police siren before. No, 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 no problems. No, no crazy, problems. crazy, I swear to God, because where, be where, where we stay in New Jersey, Brainy's, uh, uh, <laughs> came there. Brainy's window is, is by the roadside. Yeah. So every second, woo, 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 woo. Brainy. <laughs> Brady likes police. I don't like him. He likes lights. He liked Christmas when he was young. So now all the lights are ah, following him up. And then when you wake up to him, to go, you see him doing... <laughs> but, over here, but over here, it's quite it's different. Cool, cool. Like, everything is friendly out here. Yeah. Just respect them. They respect respect them. their rules okay. and not take them for granted. That's okay. it. Yeah. They are showing you pure love. Show them pure love back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what I'm receiving here. You know? Why is family important to you? Um... Because family is everything, you know. Family can make and break you in both ways. Mm. In the sense that if 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 you're not treating family right, don't expect family to treat you right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like a united business, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So obviously, the only reason why people will, will get you will be unified is by similar understanding. You know, did you get me? Mm -hmm. Whether it's similar understanding across each and everybody's heart and, and mind. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're going to be united and be doing things very similar and loving themselves. I didn't even know there was a, a group that you guys have here and then, you know, when there was a... Yeah. Uh, yeah, they have it. You we know do it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, sometimes I'll be showing you my... Oh, I saw it in a group already. Yeah, we are Like, this is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, be part of them. Mm -hmm. Just be part of them. And of course, without family, who are you? You, you can't know be alone. Family is a basic, you know. You can't just move... To the app, you have to definitely pass through the basics before you get up there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you take care of your mental health? In Ghana, we don't have... I don't say that now. Ah, uh, he says no mental health. There's no mental health in Africa, bro. Wait, we're neck down. We just neck, no mental. We just neck we down. Sun, the sun will clear everything in your head. <laughs> is it a is it a sunshine in Ghana? Now? <laughs> the <laughs> sun hits you in the mental health. <laughs> <place. laughs> The mental, mental health is actually scared right. of the sun. As soon as the sun comes up, the hell. Bro, anywhere you go, anywhere, even in your room, the sun is there. Bro, the heat in Africa, mental health. They're there, and mental health yourself. See what you eat. You are just saying, I'm, I have mental breakdown. I have in Ghana, uh -huh. you eat the mental breakdown. <laughs> You, you eat that mental breakdown and drink that mental breakdown. You know? Oh, man, you're that, fine. That, that shows how powerful and strong we are as but Africans. But I like it because that shows that yeah. you you guys mm. have different ways yeah. that you distress exactly. and release. All right, so let me tell you this. Talk to me. In Ghana, you don't have to have millions mm. to be able to happy. Because no. guess what? Somebody has cooked in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then you can just go there and, Pull eat, up some. and just eat some. Yeah, eat some. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you just finish eating, mm -hmm. you will see a friend walking down this down the road to go to a bar to go and drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. You can join him. Don't worry, he'll buy it for you. Mm -hmm. Right? And then when you're walking by the roadside, you get a friend that's actually driving towards your direction. So driving, no, you're, you're just moving. There's exactly. movement. So, like, so even if you're, if you're just chill, there's movement. <laughs> if you're hungry, you're gonna just go outside. This, Don't worry, you'll be sorted. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. we have something in Ghana. In Ghana, we call it three lime one. Three lime one. Three What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> bro, yeah, tell me, bro. What's three lime one? Like, this guy is sitting there. <laughs> three lime one. What's three lime one? Like three like lime one. You know, alcohol in Ghana we have uh, bitter bitters alcohol. Yeah, bitter, yeah. You see the the roots. Yeah, they put it in uh, 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 like a vodka. Like, right? Yeah, like to the, ferment. Yeah. Yeah. So before, like moonshine. Yeah, yeah, like okay. moonshine. Yeah. So before we go and play even football, yeah. you have to put three thoughts, uh -huh. three shots, yeah. and one lime to mix and drink before you go and play the football. Three, uh, three, three, one lime. Three lime one. Three lime one. <laughs> 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 and it helps you kick the ball, bro. Hey, whether you are playing football, so okay. if 
Okay, so one week you'll be doing three lime one. Yeah. After a week, you have to graduate yeah. to six lime two. Oh, <laughs> six lime two. Oh. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right, I got some quick questions for you. Right. I know you've taken time for us, mm. and I appreciate you again for coming yeah, to Seattle. You all but let, let's shoot it. Mm. Who are the three artists you want to work with in mm. the future? Oh, in the future, obviously not PDD. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I said yes, no ah. Okay, PDD was there. Bad boy. Like, what about bad boy? He needs it. Okay, cool. I'm done. Continue. Did you just mention Bad Boy needs it? Uh, no, okay. no, I didn't say Bad Boy and Didi made the album. I, I was not there. Me too, I'm not there. Uh, I was not there. But I don't want to work. work I just saw on YouTube. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, bad guy. You are All right. very Who bad. are the three producers you work with? No, Didi. Um, Daddy Lumba. Daddy Lumba. Yeah. Kudrenchi. Why? Why Why him? Daddy Lumba. Oh my God, this is like a veteran in my country. Mm. You know, he, he he changed the face of Ghana music. Mm. You know, even though people don't actually appreciate him enough. Yeah, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout yeah. out. I don't know, because of the Conro and, and the Kala. I don't know. Big up to you, Conro and Kala. <laughs> so that is about Kuju and Chi. Okay. Kuju and Chi is also, that? yeah. Kuju and Chi and, um, oh my days. Uh, um, um, yeah, vibes cartel when it comes out of jail. Vibes cartel, yeah. come out of jail. Yeah, I'm sending the message. Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. And who's the last one? That's so. First one is Daddy Lumba, you know, and then the vibes. second one is Kujenchi. Okay. And then vibes cartel, you know. I mean, I think vibes cartel will come and like really shake the dancehall place. Most definitely. What's next for you mm. in the dancehall space? Um. Well, currently, you know, um. The, the the music is emerging in a different kind of way. It's actually transcending from what we believe to be like, you know. I personally now I'm trying as much as possible to add more spices, you know, into the this this dance sort of thing that I do. You know. So I like can different genres? Yeah, no. With I'm an, I'm a dancer artist, no two ways about it, right? Mm -hmm. But if you give me an I'm a piano beat, I'll I'll, I'll flow on it. Exactly. You know, so there should there should be some sort of fusion that I shouldn't be limited just to dance all alone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the question now has to be like, what is the way forward musically, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be like a world artist in the sense that I'm ready to do any type of journey. When you give me like, you know, a uh, disco beat, I'm definitely gonna go. Gonna, yeah, I'm House. gonna be, exactly. Yeah, yeah that, that's how, you know, challenging I am. Mm -hmm. And that's how I wanna, I wanna you be To push open. yourself exactly. out of your comfort yeah, zone. Yeah. I don't wanna be limited to one, Particular, but my representation obviously is an African doing a dance or you know song. But then I am a world artist. Would you ever transition into movies, film, short films? No, um, I'm, I'm I'm actually in the movie with the uh, Ghost. You know Ghost. Who's Ghost? Yeah, I shot a scene. Why did you know Ghost? ghost. No, 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 Omari Hardwick. You know Power. Oh, Power. Say yeah. Power. Don't say Ghost. Oh, sorry, I'm scared. Sorry, I'm right. scrapping my family. <laughs> I can't. I can't be that. I can't be talking like that so loud, bro. They might look at me now. So I played. Yeah. I played a couple of scenes uh, uh, in a series. Called Fearless, you oh, know, yeah. by Omar by Omari Hadwick. Yeah, yeah Omari Hadwick. Go, uh, He's goes. coming back for the new season. Uh, yeah. 50 Cent is renewing exactly. like, this life before him. So That's pretty good he, for him. He, he's a very good friend of mine, like, yeah. you know, we vibe. So I'm already in the Hollywood business. You know, so you can, you can do movies? No, no. I'm, if I'm you can shoot actor. movies, yeah. Jupiter is ready. And also, Wakanda 4, Wakanda 3. Exactly. Exactly. He's here. Exactly. Okay. But not not any type of movies though. Not the not the XX. No. No. Yeah. I don't not, do adult not, movies. Not yeah. adult movies. Yeah. Exactly. That's to be reggae. Is, yeah. So, where can the people find you online? Well, on all my social networks. Um, if you are looking for Jupiter, just make sure you type J U P I T A R official on all social media. You know, and definitely you can get me, and then we. My brother. King of dancehall in Ghana. I don't know. So, in, in here in the Pacific Northwest, right. uh, as creative artists, yeah. we not only serve our people who are artists like ourselves, yeah. we also serve the youth. Right. Does your platform ever serve any youth, youth programs, youth shows, something like that? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I'm, I'm known as the kids' um, dad. Kids' dad. Uh, in the sense like that, that not, that, not that I have a whole lot of kids, though, but... You have a lot of kids? No, no, not that. You are shooting? No. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you know, in the sense that uh, I make sure every, I have this particular day, that's my spiritual month, you know, which is August, that I go back to my society, my community, and every kid, all the kids in my society, I just make sure 
um, you know, all these um, uh, um, games, football tournaments, um, sh cook food, share amongst them. And then later I perform for them for free. I like that. You know what I'm saying? So I just, that is part of my social responsibilities that I actually do for my community. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, anytime I'm, I'm by the roadside, mm -hmm. And I see a little one selling, Pick, yeah. you know, selling. It reminds me of when I used to walk, you know, to studio and all of that. So I just put myself in their shoes. I was like, damn, this, this guy's not even eating since like I three can days. tell because I've been there. I've been there. Yeah, so yeah. quickly then I give them a, a huge sum of money, you know, so that they can just get off street for some time and then maybe, you know, until we meet again, you know what I'm saying? That's well, the best I can up, do. Yeah, most up, I appreciate you for doing that. Put yeah. a big up love, yeah. man. Now, you have one of the biggest... Songs that ever left Ghana, yes. launched from the continent and served the world. Right. What inspired that song? Introduce mm. it to the world for the people who have never heard it, because yeah. it's already big. Right. But introduce it again. What inspired the song? Right. And what's the name of the song? What behind my right? So the song is Enemies. It goes like, Even if I fall, surely I will rise again. In every situation, please never complain. Slowly, slowly, but sure. And my heart is so pure. So God in heaven bless me some more. Alle, alle, hallelujah. Enemies don't come my way. Guess what? So this song, ah, I think I was fire, fire. I was, I was, I was, I was in that, in uh, other part of my, you know, in that, in, the, in that part of my life where I, I feel like I'm between giving up and, you know, anything can happen. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I went through some, Crazy, 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 you know, stuff that I can hardly speak about it, you mm. know what I mean? But it was between like life and it's, it's, it's a survival really moment for me, most yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then I actually sat back and I was just like, I put my hands in a very dark room because normally that's what I do mm. in a dark room and then speaking to myself, speaking to my spirit, speaking to my spirit, trying to uplift myself more. You know? And then the song was just ringing in my head without like, Enemies is a song that I, I didn't even take pen and paper to write it at all. Sometimes what is, yeah, like it was just, the, the song was literally flowing in my head. Guess what? I sang, I repeated in my head for like about two hours to drive to a studio to lay it up. And guess what? When I get to the studio, there was this, the producer was there, was waiting for someone to come and record. The guy didn't show up and was like, Charlie, I've been playing this beat, but for some reason I need to go home. It's past, like my, my recording time is past. I got to go home, but for some reason I'm just here. I said, like, listen, play the beat that you said. Guess what? It's the same key. It's the same, um, you know, melody. Melody, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everything. Like, it's, yeah, it's everything, exactly yeah. the key that's it, the drum, like, everything. Mm. So when he started playing and I was singing, it was like, ah, as if, you know, we sat and we actually wrote that song. Mm. So I said to myself, if I actually stayed in the room without going out to record that song, then You'd probably, have missed out on the potential. Exactly. You know, so we are, we, we are spiritually inclined like that. Guess what? When I recorded that, that song, I had a phone call from, from Sarkode the following day saying he wanted me on the song, right? Shout out to Sarkode, by the way. Yeah, yeah big up, yeah, big up. That's a big, yeah. biggest, you know, superstar in my country, man. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. not so much for Ghana music. Much respect, Sarkode. So Sarkode phoned me, was like, yo, I have this song that I actually wanted. So this all is spiritually connected. Now, guess what? That's the first time him calling me, you know? <laughs> so he phoned me and then he said he has a song for me. Mm -hmm. So I went there and I did my part on the song. Uh, the song was with me and Stoneboy. So we did, we finished, I was like, bro, you know what? Listen to this song. When he listened to this song, he said he's also going through a similar situation, but this song, listen, he, like, he spoke to me for like about two to three hours in his house. He, he was so emotional, I swear to God, because at that time, Ghanaians were on, were on him. You know what they were saying? Also, like politically? Both, both, like okay. always, you know what I'm saying? Like, because Ghanaians can really make you go and commit suicide, you know, especially on Twitter. No two ways about it, you know. <laughs> it was like this is the right song for me and, to express and myself. Everything, Ex exactly. Like, yeah. And then he started then trying me before. But I'll be worried. They never want to see me get out. But me, my prophet said, Psalm 24. The people we are the help. Same people they turn mm -hmm. against people that they pray make a fault. Like it matches. It was the there back by the way, yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. So whatever that song could actually speak on that, listen, it was from from like from a spiritual from point. Inside, exactly. Like you can feel like, it yeah. was like it's something that affected him personally. Exactly, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it was just crazy. And I was like, listen, this thing is connected. The day that we released the song, even up to now, when you check on, is it Gambia or Gabon? I think Gabon, mm -hmm. they are top 200. Enemies mm -hmm. is still there. Mm -hmm. And guess what? This is this one particular song that actually took me everywhere in the world, you know, mm -hmm. 
majority of the African countries, actually, the ones that have never even seen me before, mm. they, they play, like, this is my life. Mm. Trust me, this changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Changed everything about me. So, enemies is more spiritual. You know what I'm saying? And we just give thanks to God that sometimes as an artist, you need to have this evergreen sound that when you play to people, they Trust connect me. instantly. They connect to it. Like, and guess what? Plug-in. When I released it, the comments, not, not Ghana, not Ghana. So, so many places you know, across the globe, like they be commenting, listen, you know what is, you just be there, I'm here 2024 again. This song has done so, and guess what? Sometimes I'll even be on a plane, on a flight, <clears throat> and I'll see all these big men playing, that's their ringtone and, and stuff like that. And you can listen, but you're not saying nothing. No, no, me, no, because they, they have money, so I bring it. <laughs> When they play, it's like, yo, you know, that's my song. Oh, are Jupiter? Oh, blah, 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 blah. We connected and then there was a deal. You know what I mean? So he has done a whole lot for me. That is how spiritual I am when it comes to music. Do you get me? This is even a typical example of what I was telling you earlier on, you know? So I don't play with my, 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 my melodies and I don't play with my sound and I don't play with my lyrics. It has to touch a soul. You know what I'm saying? And if it is explicit to, we go all out, we tell you the whole part of one body, just like David. So if you had $10 million today, $10 yeah. million for the brand of Jupiter, yeah. what do you think you need oh. to get to the next level? If I have $10 million. You have $10 million in your brand right now. Bro, what do you think? What, what's, what's that push you think it's missing? Hey, listen. Don't I'm, tell me Miami. I know you. <laughs> Vegas. Uh -uh. I'm, I'm telling you the fact, the real fact, right? Okay. I'll just take $1 million out of it, right? To push my career. The rest, I'll call them... Uh, 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 my big brother, and I could do that, bro. <laughs> First of all, my entire fear be was Seattle and Hawaii. Charlie, I might hit you. The rest, Faminchi. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm saying. Let me just interpret. This this one. I'll me. just take one million dollar out of it to you know. You to just only one million dollar, I mean, not ten. And this, these are the two people I'll call. Call Brainy. I'll call Nana I could do that, right? What's Brainy gonna do? He's gonna he, he knows. He knows. Hey, wait, wait, that wait. one is secret. Okay. <laughs> Brainy. Let's stop everything in life. Like, uh, let's not do anything. Don't, hey, don't go million, to work again. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. million into the brand only. Not even 50%, bro. Ah. The rest is going to come. Okay, let me tell you. Why, I, like, you got to Why do you think I'm seeing everything you? together. Why do you think I'm seeing you? Not to make money. Okay. And now I have 100 million. I'll take, in fact, the one million, I'll, I'll divide it into two. 10 million. I'll take 500K. 500K? Re reinvest it in my career. Okay. Is it 9.5? The 9.5? Yeah. I'll useless myself. Useless myself? Yeah, You'll spoil your life. <laughs> bro. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, last question, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you again for making time to be here. Man, you know, You're having I'm a fun man. evening with Come you. On, man. Yeah. I love the fact that yeah. I'm not trying to make this like CNN right. or Al Jazeera. Yeah. Let's just vibe hey, so people can know who the fuck Most definitely. Jupiter is. Most definitely. And uh, so the last question, for right. us who are staying here, mm. diaspora people have not been to Africa for quite a bit. Yeah. How can we, mm. let me use collaborative language, yeah. artists from Africa, and creative entrepreneurs like myself right. working with you uh -huh. to bridge the gap between Afrobeat, African Americans in Washington, Seattle, mm. use it as a bridge to like pass our cultures together yeah. so we can understand each other better. Because at the end of the day, yeah. we need them. Right, right. They also need us. Right, right. Uh, right? Yeah, right. Right? Personally. Like, like we need each other. Yeah, most and, definitely. And whatever music we try to make, mm. I love when Burner Boy had this show. At uh, Atlanta, yeah. yeah, like Tony Braxton come out of there. Shout right. out to shout out to my uh, that's crazy, yeah, yeah. vintage uh, right. crush. Right. But uh, oh, my English is limited. Mm. <laughs> 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 but uh, <laughs> hey, that, that, that sounds funny. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, and I'm just saying, funny. I it's love easy, it. Yeah. I love the fact that uh, Burner Boy brought Tony Braxton in there, right? And I feel at least the time that's the story in this place. Where Afro, Afrobeat, African, mm. one of my homeboys today, his name is Nana. Shout mm. out to Kenton Magazine. He told me that a lot of things evolved from hip hop. Even Afrobeat has some hip hop in it. Right. And the hip hop came from here. So, how do we create this ecosystem mm. where African artists don't just come collect and leave? Right. African artists come, if it's New York, I need a few New Yorkers to open the show for me. Right. Right. When I'm in Seattle, yeah. I need four Seattle local artists to open for me. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? No, 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 I, I, Rappers I, 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 do it. After being right. artists, I feel like we should also get in the place where, like, exactly. let me amalgamate right. because I'm in your home. Mm -hmm. You don't want people to come in your hometown. Right. And yes, she tells What do you think? Well, I think it, it, that's that's a good point. 
Um, because obviously before they, 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 they traveled to the diaspora, they were once Africans, you know, back home. So Talk to we, we always have to find a, um, a dynamic way to, you know, make them feel like they are still part of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So by so doing, if you realized what happened uh, with my with my show, my event, mm -hmm. last two weeks or last week or so, what happened? you realized that... Bro, I was sick, bro. You got to tell me. Bro. I, you know, know, I was I sick, bro. I what happened? I approached you, you know. Yo, that was Friday. That was yes. cool. Everything yeah. was cool. Yeah. yeah. I drove to you because guess what? You are a link. You are playing your part as an as as African into the diaspora, playing your part. You know what I'm saying? So I need to pay homage to you. You know what I'm saying? That, After bro, that, I appreciate that. Come on, man. I bro, appreciate if it. I knew how big Trust you were, I would have grown. Bro, bro. You, you are, you are super big too. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you guys are holding it down here. Mm. You know what I mean? So when we come, we have to pay homage. We have to try as much as possible to connect with the people. Mm. The ones that are doing the, the, the ground works. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It didn't end there. Because you want those things to be played in the club every Z weekend, even exactly. when you're not here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, People yeah, got yeah. a request. It didn't even end there. You saw the dramas mm -hmm. that actually were in my Airbnb that we got flagged down. We can't even do uh, Airbnb. We can't even talk about it. No, we're going to get they were, one. They were playing the dramas. The drums over there, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. these are people that actually moved, back, moved from Africa mm -hmm. back here into the Western world, and they are still Africans, obviously. The, so I try as much as possible to, you know, connect with all of them. You know, they were on my stage mm. and it made it very beautiful. I didn't bring the DJs from, you know, from, from Ghana. That's not the point. I didn't bring the Jamaicans from Ghana. They're here. They are all here. Mm -hmm. And I make sure I get connected with them, connected with the fans. And we had a good time. Mm -hmm. So the only way is by connecting with them. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Let, we shouldn't make them feel like, you know, they are no longer part of us. Mm -hmm. You know, we should try to find a ways to acknowledge them mm -hmm. in every simple way that we can. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then trust me, it's going to go global. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know about Jupiter Music, today I had a pleasure of hanging out with my brother, right. the chief. I'm only saying all this because hopefully when I go to Ghana, I'll have some food. <laughs> but uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a beautiful interview <laughs> with superstar Jupiter, dancehall king, singer, songwriter, producer, soon to be movie star. It is Elba, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I'm about but, to crush uh, all of them, you know? Killed it on Seattle here, Ghana Independence Weekend, Seattle. Right. Shout out to Brainy Beats. Shout out to... I gotta know who to shout out to. First up, Hidden DJ, I heard you did a good job. I also, Stepa, you did a good job. But stop putting all the women in the front of the camera. Move them back. We are Christians. And Ramadan. Africa, what should you say? African Connect. Shout beautiful. out to African Connect again. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Shout out to DJ Afrisha. Shout mm. out to Kente Magazine. Hey, shout, shout, out, shout out to DJ Afrisha again. Because, hey, man, she be holding me down here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll be here. Yeah, man. She exactly. be playing my songs, man. Yeah. I went to an event, Brainy. Um, yeah, the one yeah. in Bellevue. Yeah, exactly. That and was I, dope. I saw her play my songs, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, I owe well, it. I owe it. That. I'll Who buy a house for her in Seattle. Yeah. yeah, Seattle, we're holding it down. Uh, I just want to tell you guys, uh, we are the new millionaire. That's it. We need each other to make sure Jupiter makes it. We need each other to make sure the show makes it. Right. We are about to launch this. Get the new, what's the new album? What's the new project? What's okay, new so name? the new album definitely is going to be an EP first. Uh, it's called Young Mason. Young Mason. Yeah. Why Mason? <laughs> <laughs> what does Mason mean? Are you building things? <laughs> exactly. You <laughs> know what I mean? Young Mason. So Young Mason is coming up. That's the EP. Young Mason. You, know, you want to know more about the Mason thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to follow you. <laughs> and please follow him on social media. It's mm. been real. Creative hustle. Boom.